Hello beautiful people, I hope you're all well and being safe and thanks for joining me again for another keto recipe video. If you want to use them as main meals, do what you want to do. We're all making do at this point right now, so I hope you just enjoy all these offerings and yeah, let's get into it. I have many more options to share, but here are six of my top favorite keto side dishes that I could eat all by themselves, but we'll call them sides for this video. Guys, I apologize for the background noise. I know you can probably hear the helicopters flying up top. They've been flying all morning in lower Manhattan, probably bringing in medical supplies. So we're just gonna have to kind of have a little bit of that or I'll probably never get the, the voiceover done. But I figured we'd start with the zucchini mash or hash rather. It's a great way to break the fast if you wanna just throw it together with any kind of egg of your choosing or sausage or whatever you want. It's a great starter, but then it could also be great for lunch, with dinners. It's really versatile. I also added a bit of coarse kosher salt and some onion and garlic powder. It really is one of those flexible types of meals that we need to have right now when we're hunkering down. And it's easy to make a huge batch of these and vacuum seal them to keep them in the freezer or in the refrigerator. I added about two tablespoons of Kerrygold salted butter to the pan and then put in the onions, let those saute down for a little bit. I also added about a teaspoon and a half of a dried rosemary and thyme blend that I made and then also added about a cup of homemade bone broth to the mixture. Then started adding in the cute zucchini. I decided to add about a tablespoon more of the butter. Look at that beautiful zucchini hash. You'll have no trouble ditching the potatoes. I found it challenging to locate certain vegetables after all this stuff hit, but I was able to find purple and the green, light green colored cabbage. We can make a lot of different things with this, along with making something similar to the zucchini hash. Add some butter to the pan, saute the onions first. Slice up your cabbage and then get that in the pan with the onions and butter. I added a dash of onion powder along with a little bit of kosher sea salt. I let the cabbage cook down for a little bit, for about five minutes or so, so that it could release some of its own moisture. I then added a cup of bone broth to the pan, covered it over, and then let it simmer down for about 45 minutes. Simmer the cabbage on low heat as not to burn it, but you also want to concentrate the flavor in the broth. and continue to add a little bit of salt or other seasoning to the pot once you've added the bone broth with the onions and the cabbage all there together in the pan and then you're just going to want to cover it keep the fire on a very low heat and just let it stew down you'll know it's ready when the cabbage is very tender and the majority of the liquid has reduced out of the pan another super easy side that you can make ahead of time in large amounts is baked broccoli with baked green beans. Just keep it simple. You can drizzle on a little grass-fed butter, add some kosher sea salt, and a sprinkling of pancetta. This side is so simple to put together and a great option to make with kids. 
Also, feel free to bake both the broccoli and beans on the same pan. Bake the veggies at 225 Fahrenheit for about 15 to 20 minutes. I usually baste the veggies around midway through just so they don't burn with an oil I have on hand. Baking up a lovely tray of asparagus using garlic butter sauce is super simple and very similar to the way we do the green beans or the broccoli. Once you've drizzled on that Kerrygold butter or the butter of your choosing, sprinkle a little sea salt. You can add the asparagus on a parchment lined pan to the oven at about 225 for 15 to 20 minutes. Just check your oven, some run hotter than others. Plus, this keto take on a noodle and veggie chilled salad that my family used to make all the time is a perfect side. It just tastes better day by day. I suggest cooking the noodles between 16 to 18 minutes. Check to make sure that they're tender but not mushy. Once I drain the noodles, I set them aside. Slice up about a quarter of each pepper. I use medium sized peppers. I'm using red, yellow, and orange peppers today. Once I start mixing the noodles and the peppers, I'll probably add a little bit of the, the Italian seasoning and additional pinches of kosher salt or whatever sea salt I have on hand. And just stir all together. And letting it sit for a while, let's marinate. Okay, last but certainly not least, we have our delicious creamed keto spinach. Add about a tablespoon and a half of butter to a warm pan to get started with this super simple side. Then saute about one third of a cup of chopped white onion in the butter. Add in one cup of heavy cream to the onion mixture. Just keep it on medium heat, more on the lower side. I unfortunately lost some of my footage, but now's a good time to go ahead and add in the cream cheese. Add in salt to taste and probably I would say about a half of a teaspoon of both onion and garlic powder. Use whatever cream cheese you have, but I find that the onion and chive and the salmon flavor really do give this dish a nice little kick. Let the cream spinach simmer on the stove for about 30 minutes on very low heat and just keep stirring it frequently. So there you have it my divas, a snapshot of six really simple keto side dish recipes. Plus with school clothes and a lot of us working from home, these are perfect side dishes to make ahead of time. Also, I did find some additional footage of some breakfast ideas, some lunch ideas, snack ideas, and even some dinner ideas that I could put up as you know consolidated videos like this one that are dedicated to one type of keto food. If you guys are interested in that, just let me know. Give me a comment down below. Also, be sure to like the video if you did. It really does help the channel. Love hearing from you guys and interacting with you, so please be sure to leave a comment below and let me know about more keto recipes that you'd like to see featured on the channel. I'll do my very best to get those up for you. And until next time, my divas, stay safe and be well.